I want to do two examples in one here. So let's get rid of this stuff that we don't need and look at these examples. Okay, so the first example, let's suppose that we are holding an object and we drop it at t equals zero. So at t equals zero, we drop it. I would like to know how long it takes this thing to fall a distance of one meter. That's about uh, half of my height. So how long does it take to fall one meter? If that's one meter, what is the time when this thing hits the ground? T sub G is the time it hits the ground. Okay, so that's what we need to find. How long does it take for it to fall one meter? Probably the easiest equation to use for that is this third equation, delta Y equals V naught Y T minus half g t squared. Let's look and see what each value in this equation is. Delta y is the ball's displacement over the motion. It starts here and it falls down to the ground. So let me draw the displacement in orange here. That is delta y. And that's minus one meter. It goes down one meter. So when we have this, this is minus one meter. V naught y is the ball's initial y component of velocity. It's Vy at time t equals zero. That's what this naught indicates. That's the time when I first let go of it. The ball isn't moving when I let go of it. It's accelerating, but it's not moving. So that is zero. And I can zero that term out. And t is what I'm looking for. That's going to be t sub g, the time when the ball hits the ground. So I can just solve for this. I'm going to leave it in terms of delta y here, and we'll substitute minus 1 meter in a minute. So how long does it take to hit the ground? There's a square here. So after you do the algebra, you get minus 2 delta y over g. And when you substitute the numbers, you find minus 2 times negative 1, so those two negative signs cancel, divided by g, and take the square root. What I get is 0 0.452 seconds. It takes a little less than half a second to follow a meter, something a little over half of most of our heights. Okay, so that's the first example. It takes about half a second little less to follow the meter. Now let's do another similar example. Let's say now that we are going to drop the object from rest again. So here it is. Here's our person. They're going to drop it at t equals zero from rest. And let's imagine that they're standing here at the edge of a cliff or something so that when they drop it, this ball can go straight down. I would like to know how far it falls in one second. So we're going to let it go for one second, and we're going to find how far this thing has fallen. I want to find this distance. I'll call it h, that the ball has fallen in one second. Probably easiest, again, to use this third equation. So let's write equation number three down, delta y is v naught y t minus half g t squared. All right, now this time delta y is essentially what we're looking for. Delta y is going to come out to be minus h. Minus because it's going down, and h is how far it has fallen. So delta y, the displacement, is minus h. It's going to go down some height h that we want to find. That minus sign is there because the displacement vector is down this way. We again drop it from rest, so that is zero. This term is gone, and t is one second. So we can cancel the minus signs and just calculate. The distance that it falls, h, is one-half g times t squared, one second squared. 
and that works out to 4.9 meters. Okay, so this is interesting. It takes almost half a second to fall a meter. And in one second, it falls about five times that far. So in the second half of that second, the ball traveled so much farther than it traveled in the first half of that second. The reason is, of course, is that it took about half a second to go here, but the ball is picking up speed the whole time. So it's moving faster and faster and faster and faster. So it took almost half a second here, a little over half a second here, but it covered way more ground on this second half of that second because it was moving so much faster. Okay, there are several other problems and exercises to look at, but I will stop um, this example here.